Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Tamar. This year is entitled Fixing a Broken Marriage Part 2. In the first year we asked a simple question. The Torah in the Parsha chapter regarding Sota says that if she didn't commit the adulterous act, even though she was alone with the man against the warning of the husband, witnesses saw it that she was alone. But if she didn't commit the adulterous act, they go home, they have more children, seems like happily ever after. That's how life goes. It sounds hard to believe. But the Torah is saying it. And the fact is, if the Torah says it, it is true. As difficult as it is to understand, I think if a couple, no matter how far gone the marriage has sunk, and no matter how much they are in dire straits, and they are in a Sota-like situation, they could be rebuilt, the marriage could be rebuilt, they can rebuild their relationship, and it could be even stronger than it was before. I think there's at least three conditions needed. One, they both have to be sane, normal, rational people. Someone has uh, something wrong, chemical issue that's not under control, or something else, mental issues, whatever it may be that that's not under control, that's not easy to work with. Number two, they both want to rebuild. And number three, they have a basic similar value system. One decides uh, giving up religion, giving up Torah and mitzvah, doesn't want to live a kind of lifestyle, and the other one says, of course I want to continue, that's going to be pretty hard. But if they have those conditions, but on the same page religiously, the values are the same, and they want to rebuild their relationship, to me the sky's the limit no matter how far gone the marriage has been. I see that with my own eyes. If the rut zone is there to work, to be able to accept the damage that each one has caused, and accept the blame, and to be able to work on a good, new, healthy communication system, it truly can be rebuilt. And when the Gemara, the Parsha of Sota, tells us that after this disaster, this horror, they're going to go home and have children, and it sounds like this has nothing to do with reality. It's not true. In this area, we have to be Brezel Hasidim and, and believe in Shum Yeush Ba'olam. There is no Yeush to spare. If the couple is willing and capable of working hard enough and working hard and digging deep and understanding the pain they caused each other, and understanding the miscommunications or the lack of communications and the fact that they put so much energy maybe into other areas of their lives and not into each other and they truly, truly believe Shalem with heart and mind and soul want to work and work and have the good proper people whether it's the rabbis, the therapists, friends, social workers, whoever, whatever team is involved if they're ready to do that then as I said the marriage can not only survive, but can thrive and be deeper and stronger than it ever was. Because they could reach into areas that they just never got to early on in the marriage and stand each other's pain and be totally open and vulnerable to each other, but in a healthy kind of way. And they could reach new heights. So I think that's one of the messages of the Sota Parsha, not only, of course, to be so careful not to be involved in all those horrible acts to begin with, obviously, but the second message is that even if things slip to unimaginable levels, it could be rebuilt with a proper attitude and with a proper work and with Siyat Shalom.